sacrificial lamb, you will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. When day breaks, you too will join our covenant to share in my holy blessing forever. How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here. Back again playing some Resident Evil 4 Remake and look at that my boat has sprung a leak. Really don't think it would make it to the dock before sinking but whatever. I guess she did. Condor one to roost. Do you read me? Condor one? You've been radio silent for three hours. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I won't let it happen again. And the church? I'm still looking for whatever key I need. Copy that. I'm glad you're okay. Roost out. All right. Chapter four. So, guys, funny story about this. <laughs> This is the third time I'm doing this. Uh, so the first time I, I always play through like on a separate file, you know, and then the second save I, I record, right? Well, I did that, but my recording messed up basically. And because I had already finished chapter four recording and I saved at the start of chapter five again, I had to basically start a whole new save file <laughs> and rebeat the first three chapters to get to this point again. Because I did not want to skip chapter 4 for you guys. Alright, so we can hear some chanting here. Uh, let's head on the right path. And there's a barrel up here with something. Uh, some money. And then... Back to the left, there's another barrel. Because I've done this part a couple times, I think I should know where all the items are. And we should be able to go through this chapter fairly quickly. Alright, now... There's one more item over here. Red herb. All right. So, yeah, this is... I have a lot of items on this playthrough. This is a third different playthrough. That, <laughs> but going back to... I'll be going back to my other regular save. You know, the one that I have been recording after we beat Chapter 4. So this inventory is a little bit different than the last, probably. But just for this video. I tried to pretty much stick to the same weapons though, so all right, let's 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 get back a little bit and shoot this thing with bolts. We got a lot of bolts, so might as well use them. It does more damage if you can shoot them in the in the tentacles, but this guy will sprout the tentacles too, so let's try to kill him before he does or not. Out of the oh. way. Guess he won't. Or I guess he didn't. He will definitely. I'm pretty I'm pretty <laughs> sure he did before anyway. Alright, so fuck? Yeah, they sprout tentacles that with like scythes on them on the uh, it's crazy. Pretty soon we're gonna get on a boat and be driving around in the lake. And there is a lot of loot to get. This episode is pretty much running around getting loot, and then we're gonna fight a boss. This place? And then we will actually finally find Ashley. Some kind of shrine. Same mark from the church. This is the key we need to get inside the church. But before we can get it, we have to find uh, something to put in these hands. So let us continue. I don't want to go. It's the lake too fast so I don't like miss items you know what I mean so basically this map is showing us the where the two items are that we need one is up here and one is down here and basically we are like right here so we just need to go right over there it's very close by and we'll get the first one 
Actually, it doesn't really matter what items I pick up on this playthrough, because, like I said, we're going to pick up on another, but since I'm here, I'm going to do it pretty much the same as I would normally. Let's get the old way shrine key. That is really important. We can actually finally open those uh, funny looking chests that we've seen around the game. Uh, large resources. Egg hunt. Someone fetch me a rare golden egg. What will I do with it? Well, sometimes it's more fun not knowing, right? Hmm. If you say so. Don't think there's anything else for me to get here, so let's just hop in the boat. From the boat, there's a lot of different areas we can go. The world kind of opens up for us. We can go out straight to the lake if we want. And we will do that. We can also go right back to the merchant uh, right here. This is the merchant headquarters. So you can see that's like right where we came from. And boom, now we're right down here if you remember right up here is the merchant I don't know if I really need to go to the merchant but since we're here let's go ahead and see if there's anything I want to sell look at my treasures uh, not really I well let's see what he's got I have something welcome got some rare things Ooh. on sale he actually has some new items including the what case upgrade is what I've got. dang I wonder why I have all these gems but nothing to put it in. I must have missed one of the Ruby's uh, all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, they're well well. well I can certainly do something. That's combat. okay. We'll come back. Anytime. We'll come back to him in a second. Um since we're here this close, let's go get the way shrine. Uh there's a chest really close, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right here. Maybe this will let me socket something. Yes. Butterfly lamp. I think this has two sockets. If we sell that, if we socket that and sell it, we might be... Ooh, it has three. Perfect. We'll probably be able to buy the case upgrade, which would be a nice way to start the episode. Three different gems. Works out perfectly. There's a couple more of those way shrines we'll get. Oh, I've got something right. new for you. Yeah, 26,000 right there. Thank you. Let's buy the case upgrade before anything else. A decent size. We'll buy other size stuff too. Ain't size right? ain't everything? Are you sure? Um, you all right. Let's go buy the uh, recipe, I guess. We've been safe. Right. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> Gonna try not to, buddy. All right, let's go back on the boat. Just wanted to talk to the merchant real quick. And as you saw, uh, there's a bunch of barrels in the water that you can run over and they pretty much all drop money. And if you look around, sometimes you can find fish that you can harpoon. And then you can eat the fish and it will heal uh, your health. So that's good to have. Let's combine the herb since we got it. All right, good enough. I have a lot of healing items as you can see. So where we're going to go first is just right up here on the left. I guess we can break this barrel first. All right, let's back it up. Right over here. This is where the first uh, item is that we need to set on the hand to get the church key. So we, this door is locked. Forget about it. We're going to unlock it in a minute. Let's go to our bolt thrower again. There's going to be a bunch of enemies ahead. I don't want to waste ammo, so... Let's grab the flash grenade. And right over here, there's some some barrels. We'll let that guy run to us. Hey, buddy. Why don't you put down the torch? Ooh, death by bolt in the butt. We don't want to die like that. Face. Shoulder. Oh, I hit him in the axe. Nice throw, but you missed. Whoa, dude pulls out a dynamite to a bolt thrower fight, I thought. Oh, you're blown into chunks, aren't you? Wait, you're still alive, aren't you, huh? Oh, 
one of these guys. Five shots from the pistol to kill him, but I got a, a lot of pistol ammo actually, so might as well use it. Stay down. Wanna loot this. Oh my goodness, you too? I was trying to shoot him in the kneecap and make him fall, but he just would not. How about you? Oh, you do. Oh, you Oh, nice. Walk in the fire, please. That would be awesome. He's kind of burning. Drop the fire. That dude took a lot of shots. All right, let's keep it going. You can go left or right, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna go both ways eventually, so. Um, actually, let's just go left. There's a guy that we can kill really fast. Here's the door, let's open that, just in case we gotta backtrack a little bit. There's gonna be people dropping down from both sides. Let's burn him. Bro, he ducked so that his friend could throw the axe. That was actually a really cool play. I love it when they burn in their own fire. I'm pretty sure that guarantees the Plagas won't come out of their head either. Terrible throw, bro. Are you really going to throw dynamite this far? Oh my goodness. Let's go back up this way. Since that way looks a little bit spicy with the dynamite. Let's drop that loot we'll get later. Why don't you get back in that fire? Run away from the dynamite. That dude's head exploded without. No, don't drop the torch like that. Oh my goodness. I wanted him to get burned up from it. There's a symbol we need to remember. Don't even think about lighting the dynamite, bro. All right, that's enough pistol ammo wasted. You too? Just die. Thank you. Bye. Oh man, one of my bolts got stuck up there. Dang it. Actually, I didn't want to drop down yet. I was trying to press A to get my bolt. Anyways, yellow herb on the ground over here. And then the thing we shot down is another velvet blue. Whatever. There's actually another lantern you can shoot down somewhere too. Where is it? Oh, it's gotta be listening for the lanterns. And some more crates. Remember that symbol as well. I'm pretty sure I remember the combination to open the door because I've had to do it a couple times, but just if you don't know how to do it, those are the symbols you're looking for. All right, we, pr we pretty much killed everybody, I think, so now we just have to loot. Let's grab the box. And, okay, so this is the door we need to open. Let's see, so pretty sure this one is top left, top right, middle down. Yep. And this is the head. Apostate's head. Eww. Nasty. Somebody's blood was stuffed in there and then they put the head on real quick. Before we leave, um, I think there's a ladder. There's, I think there's a way. Maybe, no, I'm thinking of a different. 
I'm thinking of the next one. Oh, still somebody alive? Where did you come from? Oh, they're coming because I took the head. I took the head and that instantly made all these guys spawn. That's cool. Anybody coming up the ladder? No? Alright, well... Let's just check the map real quick. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I know my bolt is there. And I don't know what that little blue mark is. Maybe we should go check that out. I can't get the bolt, so I think we're going to move on. A little blue... Oh, it's a door. A locked door. Actually, we already opened this door. Alright, let's get out of here. We got the head. That's all we really needed. One hundred, two hundred. Oh, missed the bar missed the barrel. We can't, we can't miss the barrel. Let's go back. There we go. All right, let's park right here at these docks. Gonna. Park right here. Just a couple items. So remember when we were up there a couple episodes ago on our way to the lake and we sh we shot something that fell down and we never really found it. It's right here, guys. Check it out. Go up these. Another way shrine. Box. Cabinet. Ooh, we can socket that too. And then right up here, guys, this is the thing that dropped. And it's an an Alexandrite, which is a gem that we can put right in the thing we just got. Just like that. And I think that's the only loot here. So, oh no, no, no. Underneath, underneath. I almost always miss these, but then I always remember. Alright, there we go. Now I think that's the only loot here. Let's get out of here. Now, we're gonna go back to the lake and we don't need to worry about the monster anymore because he's dead so we can just drive around and loot everything and that's what I'm gonna do before we do anything let's where's all the barrels okay here's one let's just get all the barrels. There's fish all over the place. If you want, you can go for the fish. I am good on healing items, so I'm not worried about it. Alright, let's go to the middle of the lake now. And there is a boat here, which... This was not in the original. So it's kind of cool. After you kill the monster, I guess... The monster was keeping this boat under the lake. And on the boat is some loot. Very good loot, too. Another Alexandrite. Boom. Like, literally, instantly, just double socket. Whew. A lot of money. But that's not all. <coughs> Got a crate. And that's not all. <gasps> a beautiful chest with a beautiful gun. The Red Nine, one of the most, if not, no, it's not the most powerful pistol in the game, but it's one of the most powerful pistols in the game. Pretty awesome, but we're not going to actually use it this moment because it's not upgraded, so I'm just going to send it to storage because we're running low on inventory space. And next time we go to the merchant, I'm going to fully upgrade it and swap it out for what we're using now, which is the Punisher. And like I said, uh, don't worry about selling weapons. If you upgraded them, you get all your money back. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's open the map. Now, there's quite a few places that we have to go. We Well, we don't have to, but I'm going to. We're going to clear out the lakeside settlement. As you can see, there's a lot of loot there. Um, we're going to go over here to get the golden chicken egg. And there's a bunch of chickens here on the east side of the lake. And they will periodically lay eggs. So you can go back and get them if you want. And then we're going to go up here to get the other head. So we can unlock the church key. 
Uh, lastly, we will go here to the stone pedestal to collect that loot. Then we will go back to the merchant and back to the village and the church to rescue Ashley. So first things first, let's go to the chicken coop. Get the golden chicken egg because we want to complete all these quests. And you, you're going to want to do all this lake looting before we fight the boss because pretty sure once you fight the boss, you're not going to be coming back to the lake uh, again for a while. Look at all these chicken eggs. And back here, the golden chicken egg. Look at that, baby. I'll be taking this. And then over here, we got another velvet blue. Oh, look. See? Already laid another chicken egg that fast just for me standing here. Honestly, we have too many chicken eggs. I got more chicken eggs than frag grenades. I'm going to start confusing them and th start throwing chicken eggs at my enemies. That would actually be hilarious. All right. Done with that. Let's keep, uh, let's just follow the lake. So we're going to go up and get the next head. The next head doesn't have as many I enemies, if any. Uh, in fact, I don't think it has any enemies. All we got to do is just dock here and get it. You do have to open it with a puzzle again. There's the, uh, the key and the symbols are, one is back here, I think. Hold on, let me get there. One is like on the pillars somewhere. I forget where they are, but oh yeah, there's one. There's one, the three squigglies. And there's another one upstairs, I believe, but basically I'm pretty sure it is bottom right. No, 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 no. let me try again. It's left. Bottom left, bottom right. There we go. Let's grab the head, the blasphemer's head. And then you guys can probably hear that lantern swinging. We're going to go get that. Here is the final hexagon piece we needed. Let's go up here. And get this. Ruby, very nice Ruby. We can open this locked door as well. There's the final uh, symbol right there, but we already knew what it was. Let's get that. And last but not least, some handgun ammo, which I am not gonna lie. I use a lot of handgun ammo. No, 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 pick up the item. Another Ruby, my goodness. We are just doing fantastic. All right. Pick up the money. And let's just make sure nothing else in there. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, let's go to the lakeside settlement now. Now that we have the insignia key, we can open the gate and it has a bunch of loot. Um, so we're just gonna go straight west, follow the coast. Remember this place? I think we came to this place in episode two. Remember this? Well, now we are stronger, but there is enemies still, so we're gonna have to be careful. Um, I don't actually have to loot in that house, but there is a wayside key, I think, yeah. Let's go around the house. Take him out, and let's get the wayside chest. What do we got? Pearl bangle. Can't socket it, but that's all right. Instant free money, basically. And then there's a locked drawer. We're going to get the key for that pretty quick. And then we'll go in there and get that treasure as well. So let's focus on the gate. Grab that loot. So remember this gate? We didn't have the key for it before, but now we do. Got the key from the village chief's 
room, if you remember. All right, I want to kill this guy. I, I can't leave a uh, infected. We gotta, we gotta clear these infected out. A yeah, little bit of loot up here, anyway. So let's just grab the loot. Velvet blue? How did I miss that? All right, let's jump down and through the gate. And this is actually a pretty cool uh, place. You'll see why in a moment. First of all, I hear a lantern. What? I hit that. A spinel. Some gunpowder. Pick up the quest for the gigantic fish that lives in the lake. And the photo is supposed to help us. It's just like right, literally where we started this episode. That's where the fish is. All right. Um, let us continue in here. Thankfully, this door is not locked. Ooh. This is uh, kind of disgusting. But remember at the very start of the playthrough, the guards or the, the cops were talking about hikers going missing recently? Well, these are the missing hikers. Well, this is one of them. I'm surprised they didn't turn him into more Plagas. You know, they kind of wasted him by just being merely sacrificed. Uh, let's see. Some more gunpowder on the shelf. And then let's go upstairs to find out where the other hiker is. You guessed it. Also sacrificed. And this one was actually special because it was the very, very start of the game. When you first start a new playthrough, this is the person you watch get sacrificed, and this is where it happens, I guess. Let's break the barrel, get the small key. That way we can open the cupboard downstairs in the uh, large house. Back here is one of those Clockwork Castle in uh, Salvador dudes. So if you're trying to get them all, there's one right there. Apparently, like, if you shoot them on one playthrough, they're just gone on all playthroughs. So it's kind of weird. And then green herb back here. And I think that's it. So let's head back down. The key is the most important thing to get in there. But the er green herb is also nice. Should I just make like an ultimate potion? No, I can't. That's all right. Man, I got a lot of stuff in my inventory. Let's craft some handgun ma ammo. All right. Now, on our way out of here, I'm pretty sure some of those zombie dogs are going to be... Was something on the ground here? I thought I saw something I could pick up. I guess it was just the light. Uh, some zombie dogs. So Let's just try to bolt it, but... They look almost comical with the, with the teeth and eyes like that. They don't look like they belong with the rest of the weapon. These are a new enemy, by the way, for this game. Those zombie dogs were not quite like that in the original. Come on, doggies. Come on, doggy. Wow, already dead. couple enemies. I'm just trying to see where they are. Don't even worry about that guy. I'm more worried about the dogs. The dogs are what really... You are one ugly dude. Come on. Show your true self. Hey, buddy, why don't you walk over here? I got I got a surprise for you. Come on. Oh, you are taking forever. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, no, 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 no. You're going to die way over there. Gosh, dang it. What the? Ooh, what is that? White? Oh, gunpowder. All right. Uh, let's go in the house real quick. There's some items that I want to get in there. And then, actually, I think, was there something in the tree up here? Pretty sure there's a lantern up there. Why is there like a light on that tree? That's funny. 
Um, I must have already got it before. Let's go in the house. And we can open the locked drawer in here now. With the small key we just got. A gold bar. Kind of a small one, but it's still a gold bar. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but this was actually the house where we found Louis, or Louis Sarah. He was, like, locked in the basement. Do you remember it now? Well, let's go back to where he was, because there's actually some loot there again. Remember the guy was, like, pounding on that? If we come all the way back where he was laying, there's a journal. Three years ago, my beloved daughter passed away shortly after giving birth to a son. Since then, the boy has grown considerably. He's a very curious child has a true thirst for knowledge. He even tries to follow me after me when I go out hunting. I can't take my eyes off him for a second. Whenever we walk in the forest, he always asks me to tell stories. He's very fond of Don Quicho. Although he's still small, the boy is smart and observant beyond his ears. If he weren't stuck here, he might have become a scholar. I was a careless fool. I could have sworn I shot clean through the wolf's head, and yet it lunged at me. I was able to make it back to the cabin, but my wound is swollen and discolored. I cannot bear seeing the boy's worried eyes. My body moves on its own, and I can hear voices inside my head. Am I going mad? I can't die now and leave the boy behind. Dear God, please protect him. Yeah, so he must have come across one of those infected zombie wolves, man. And there's the red gemstone ring. So the journal was probably what Louis Sarah was actually um, holding, and he dropped it down there. Just a little hint about why he's here and what he's doing. All right, so that's all the loot that we needed to get here. So we're pretty much ready to... Leave the settlement, go back to our boat. We got one more pit stop, and then we're going to go to the merchant and continue on with the main quest. We're actually doing really good on time. Well, pretty good. Let's go back to our boat. There's some more fish in the water, but I got way too many items already, so I'm not even worried about it. Um, we want to go down straight south, all right? Right to those lights right ahead of us actually yep yep nope a little bit to the right this is a place that we've also already been you'll recognize it probably there was a uh, blue medallion like underneath there the swamp area was over there well anyway maybe you'll remember we had put some hexagon pieces in here and now we have all of them in there. So we just got to spin the pieces around a little bit. And boom. What did we get? A depraved idol. Interesting. And with that, we need to go get the Lunker Bass, the big bass for the quest. And then we're going to go to the merchant. Actually, we need to go get the key before we can go back to the merchant. All right, the big bass is right there. Pretty sure that's him. Yep. Look at that big boy. He's so big, I don't even got room. Let's just eat some of these uh, chicken eggs. I really don't need that many. There we go. Yeah, got it. All right, now we need to go back into the mural cave. Um, so let's just do that. We need to go get the key. Then we'll go to the merchant, which is actually very close, if you remember. Like, that's the merchant stock, I think, and the key is just like... Actually, now wait. Actually, the merchant stock is straight ahead, and that was the key dock. So let's turn around. I'm stupid. That's the merchant. You can tell by the purple fire, of course. This is the mural cave. Let's go in there. Uh, and it's called the mural cave. I don't know if you guys noticed because I probably went by it too fast. So let me show you something. So the way we came in here. Hold on. Where am I? What the? Here we go. 
Uh, before I mess with that, let me crawl through here. Do you? Because this is the way that we originally came in here. Let me show you the mural. Why it's called the mural cave. You see this? So if you look closely on the wall, you can see a couple cultists like decapitating somebody. And then over here, you can see more cultists like leading that decapitated procession over here. So that's that's why it's called the mural cave. Just wanted to show you that. All right, um, let's put the heads on here. Blasphemer's head. And the apostate's head. I don't think it matters which order. And boom, we got the church key. Church insignia key. Condor one to roost. I found the key to the church. Copy that. Now go get baby eagle. Right. No time to chat. I'm going in. Condor one out. I mean, I found it a while ago. I've acquired it. It's a little bit different. All right, let's just go to the boat and go right over to the merchant. Right over here. Like I said, make sure you clear out the lake for all the loot. Um, like, go to all the places we did. I think we pretty much cleared it all, so... At this point, we're pretty much ready to go. I just want to upgrade my pistol. My new one, the Red 9. You could buy the TMP. Uh, it's a nice weapon if, if you're into automatic Gotta weapons. Select. Actually, uh, I forgot. Uh, I guess I can't sock it. All right. Welcome. So we're going to sell the insignia key. If a key ever shows up in the sell items, that means you that you're not going to use the key anymore. So do you, much good in the grave. you might as well sell it. We're going to sell all this. Look how much money we're going to have. Plus, we're going to sell the gold chicken egg and the lunker bass because those were quest items. And they give us 14000 So we're selling for 85000 We're actually going to sell the punisher as well. Sell the Punisher. Ah, I'll buy it at a high. We got those. Might and then let's go back to our storage. Put the Red 9 back in our chest. Yeah, see, I don't have the other charm that we got in the other episode because, like I said, that's a different save. I, I literally replayed the entire first three chapters just for you guys so I could record this episode again. All right. Not a problem. I, I literally enjoyed doing it. All right, let's uh, upgrade the Red Nine. I have 160,000. As you wish. Lots of power, and actually later on we can get a stock that We're you can add to the Red Nine, idea of your taste. which makes it even better. Um, yeah. I mean, look how much money I still have. We're not gonna buy rocket launcher. I, d I don't really need it right now. You only get one All shot my with it. Are in tip -top shape. I assure you. All right. Let's do the next area. I'll increase my shotgun. On for size. And I guess I'll just keep upping the red this nine. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a All the way. way. Let's just do it. You'll see. Look at that. Might as well upgrade the shotgun more. Actually... Reload speed on there bolt line are. is so bad. As you wished. Okay. And then if we go to trade, he has some new items as well. TMP stock. Oh, there's an elegant mask. There's some things money can't buy. Unfortunately, the laser sight does not go on the red nine. It really is too bad because I actually like the oh, laser sight. I knew you'd choose that one. <laughs> um, let's buy the gem. <laughs> A wise choice. I know. That. And we should be able to socket it right away with a couple of reds. All right. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try not to. So this is our new gun. I want to show you guys how it reloads because it looks really cool. Watch, watch. Isn't <laughs> that so cool? All right. Um, now we have the church uh, key. 
we can just go to the quarry and then back to the village and to the church right there. So you might want to save before Take you do this, but I'm not going to save until I beat the boss because last time I saved, the video didn't work and then I had to re-beat all the levels. <laughs> so I'm just not going to save until I for sure am sure. Oh, I missed this. All right, now we are about to fight a boss. Just so you know, um, it's one of the giant dudes, which um, basically all you're gonna wanna do for this fight is run away from him and shoot at his face. Eventually, one of the Las Plagas is gonna pop out of his back and you just wanna try to hit that. Um, if you rescued the wolf, the wolf will help you uh, at some point in the fight. The wolf will come and start distracting the El Gigante. And once that happens, you just want to take advantage, obviously. Um, without further ado, let's just get this party started. I'm going to creep over into this shack real quick for some extra items before the boss fight triggers. All right, guys. Wish me luck. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is shoot him in the face with bolts. And can I just craft some more bolts because we're going to use them. I'm also going to use my frag grenades since we have so many. And I'm going to shotgun him as well. We're going to use all of our weapons basically. Might as well. All right, let's go. Shit. By the way, this boss fight in VR was incredible. Look how big this guy is. And he is that big in VR and it is crazy scary. You like those bolts in the head, don't you? You got worms too? He already sprouted the flog us. Oh my gosh. How did I evade that? Your face is looking kinda ugly, buddy. Let's jump on his back. Die. Die. Look at his teeth. Almost killed him. A couple more of those and we should be good. Let's get the bolt thrower again. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's that dog. Oh my goodness. Well, I was actually hoping you would hit me so I could heal. Go to the dog. Go to the dog. Do not turn and look at me. Go to the dog. Go to the dog. Okay, let's get out of here. Doggy, I need your help. Bro, what are you doing to that poor building? Yes! Yes! Take him on! A 1v1! That's what he's saying. Dog straight up wants the honorable 1v1. Oh! Oh! The dodge! How do you like that? How do you like that? Oh. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Good job, doggy. Oh, he's mad now. He really mad. All right, you know what? Fire in the hole. Watch out, doggy. Fire in the hole. Here you go. Oh god, that was too close. Right in the roof. Even better. You dead? Wow. Already dead. God damn. We better make sure, right? Okay. okay. Let's <laughs> we get both to that said church. okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, before we do anything, uh, let's 
First of all, take the yellow diamond. And then we need to pay our respects. Where's the doggy? Thanks, bud. I will never forget you. Um, pretty sure there's some loot. Oh yeah, probably right where he destroyed the shed. Let's get the loot. Wow, a lot of loot. And then also where he came out of, which, I don't know, maybe it was back here. Got a velvet blue and another journal entry, I think. Rearing log, six months. Its teeth have only just come through, but it shoves everything within reach into its mouth. It can't walk yet, but it swallowed a dog hole. Nine months. It already towers over me, but it keeps growing. The town hall can no longer contain it. Ten months. It keeps growing even after moving to the quarry. It can devour a whole cow in only three days. Thirteen months. It can swing our largest pickaxe as if it were a twig. One of the men in the village was almost eaten today, too. It's not getting enough food. Seventeen months. There are only a few cows left now. At this rate, the whole village will starve. We summoned help from the castle and had them put the beast to sleep with an incantation. Hopefully it won't late wake for a long time. So they're calling it a beast. Pretty crazy. And yeah, he definitely ate a lot. That's where he busted out. And I hear... Where is it? I hear a, a swinging lantern, but I don't see it. Ah, there it is. Ooh, a ruby. All right, guys, with that, uh, let's go find Ashley. Finally, right? Good thing he didn't pick up that, that hammer, because, or pickaxe, or whatever it is. That would have been crazy. All right, we're just gonna run right through here. Don't even worry about the enemies, if there is any. All the barriers have been taken down, so we can just run right through. There is gonna be a couple zombie dogs up here though, so get, or maybe one or two, I don't remember. At least one. We have a lot of pistol ammo, so let's just do it. The power of the red nine. There is a uh, a locked cabinet in the side or down down below, but we got to get the key first, the small key. Before we get the small key, we got to put the big key in. Watch this; it's pretty cool. Pretty fancy for a church in the middle of nowhere. How much did that gate cost? My goodness. This is the church. Ashley Graham. I'm here to help. Actually looks really nice. They got flowers and everything. Um, being in the church was the absolute coolest in VR. Like the atmosphere. Like just walking around and looking around. It feels like you're actually there. And the atmosphere is just incredible. But... This is pretty cool too. Let's go ahead and get all the loot before we rescue Ashley. She's been, she's been locked up this long, you know. She'll be all right for a few more minutes. But you do need to grab the blue dial. And then also over here on the right, there's a small key. This is the one we need to open the cabinet, which I guess we'll open the cabinet in the next episode. We, because, well, as soon as we, as soon as we enter the room with Ashley, the episode ends, so. Or the chapter ends, I should say. All right. So in the original, there was a puzzle here that had to do with the um, tinted stained glass window or whatever. But this one, it's a little bit different. So basically, you can select each one of these. And then you can rotate them. And you're trying to look for how it fits with the logo. And... Not gonna lie, I kind of forgot where the blue one goes, but I do remember the green one. You can line up the point right here. And then the red one, I know you can line up with the side 
like this. And once you do the green and the red, the blue one's not so hard. Now I just got to put the blue one in, in position like that. All right. So that's what it looks like finished. If you're having trouble on that puzzle, there you go. And notice the lights. They actually look cool. Kind of weird. Like you wouldn't expect a bright, colorful symbol like that as like the symbol of their church, but whatever. Um, let us go up. Remember that Ashley Graham is a college student. Ashley. And only reason I bring there? that up is because right over here, you can find her cell phone. Sigma Gamma Phi. This is like a Motorola Razor with no logo. <laughs> really? The president's daughter? Uh, well, I guess back then it was the best phone, right? Pretty cool. And we can't go anywhere else, so let's go say hi to Ashley. We're going to see what she looks like for the first time in the remake. And I'm using default costumes, but we're probably going to change costumes the next episode. Just, just at least for one episode. Ashley. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. Easy with that. My name's Leon. I'm here in the president's quarters and... She looks older than... That one will. ...than a college girl. Just saying. Hey, it's dangerous outside. You need to listen to me. What is that? Over there? Looks like an angry mob. Pursue them. <laughs> the lost lambs are escaping. Lost lambs? Deliver unto them. Salvation. And now you know he can mind control them. And he can mind control us because we have the Plagos in us. Ashley does too, apparently. Because she could hear his message. But he can't actually control us yet because the Plagos isn't like fully developed. But it's developed enough so where we can hear him. Alright guys, well that is the end of chapter 4. I hope you enjoyed. Let's... Look at the results. There we go. Not too bad. We actually did it in 48 minutes. And uh, yeah, like I said, next episode, I'm pretty sure we're going to switch it and just do a different costume for Leon and Ashley. You're going to have to tune in next episode to see which one I'm going to choose. As always, thank you for watching. This is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in episode five. Take it easy, friends.